Hello, everyone. I'm Shunyu Ueta, and I work at Medical Inc. as a machine learning engineer. I'll talk about auto content moderation in a consumer to consumer e commerce. I'll talk about these contents in this talk. Firstly, I'll introduce what is a content moderation. Content moderation means identify potentially unsafe or inappropriate content in service. So many service so try to content moderation to protect customer and to improve customer experience. For example, YouTube or Google Play or Facebook and so on. And also, our company Mercari try to content moderation for customers. The Mercari app is a C2C marketplace where individuals can easily sell used items. There are various kinds of items in the service, such as women, men, kids, cosmetics, electronics, and motors, and so on. Monthly active user is over 60 million, and total number of items is over 1.5 billion. Then, machine learning service should be considered to the scalability. Why content moderation in C2C e-commerce? We want to decrease risk for customers and market price. Sellers unintentionally violated policy or buyers buy violated items without knowing it. For instance, policy case are counterfeit or weapons and so on. So we want to protect customer for safe experience. In order to protect our customers and keep our marketplace safe, we need a moderation system to monitor all the items being listed on it. Marketplace was screened by moderation service. And we aim to sell or prevent sellers violated policy and buyers discover so safe items from marketplace. And the moderation service so fetch all items and uh, if some specific items over the threshold value or pass the rule base, this is the hide items from marketplace semi real time and alert to the customer and the moderator try manual review and decide, so delete items or revert to the marketplace as safe items. And uh, I explain about history of the content moderation service in the Mercari. Firstly, as a content moderation, we implement rule-based logic. Rule-based process is easy to develop and can be quickly released to production. Cons is it hard to manage day by day increasing of the rule-based logic. And after certain days, certain time, so it's manage and maintain its so super high cost and difficult. Also rule-based it's difficult to cover the inconsistencies in spellings. For instance, capital Nike or Nike or Japanese katakana Nike or Japanese hiragana Nike. It happened to the not only Japanese but also English uh, environments. And the machine learning systems can solve rural based issues. It plus it automatically runs the features of items deleted by moderators. Also, adapts to spelling inconsistencies. 
But machine learning also has cons. Model update is hard and also happens conceptually, also known as training subbing skew. In this talk, we propose solve the, those issues, model update is hard and conceptually in the real world content moderation. And first of all, I talked about how to make the data set and how to design feedback loop. So sellers firstly selling the items and these items screened by the moderation service and working with the rule-based or machine learning. Or our customer uh, can directly report items. For example, this item is uh, maybe violating a policy or unsafe in the marketplace. And the moderation service uh, hides the, the items and alert to moderator aggregated it. And the moderator review to the those alert and decide delete these items by moderator. It dealing as a positive data in machine learning data set. Or not deleted items by moderator that dealing as a negative data set. And the moderator delete items with tag. This tag in the database column installed, and it is most important for data quality. So moderator make the tag with consider to ML model training data set. That keep compatibility for continuous ML model training. And this loop is working as a human in the loop. Moderator, so always interactions and keep the quality of the data. It is most important for the real world machine learning systems. And how to design uh, content moderation in the real world in the city e-commerce. So data distribution is highly imbalanced. Also each violated topic is total number of art is bounded by moderator team. So we choose trained, machine learning model trains as a one with all. Since it provides benefit, so no side effect when deploying a training model to other class. So we trained, so share the negative data. And uh, for example, counterfeit delete item with some specific tag, throwing the one model and our weapons. So we build uh, currently over 50 models in the productions as a binary classifier model. Why we didn't choose multi classifier model? Since it's hard to improve so specific uh, class without side effect. And the medical items have the multi modality such as image or text or category and brand and price and et cetera. And we use smart model model to improve model performance. And basically we got so best practice. So gradient boosted distance three is efficient for training and inference when training that size is not large in the multimodality data sets distribution. And GBDD is not used image feature. Also, we use gated multimodal unit. It's potentially most accurate using multimodal data. So we choose depend on the scale of data set. And we consider different algorithm, not only GBDD and GMU, but also such as Concat or Max Boring and other traditional machine learning models. As, ha as far as I know, we got best result GBDT and GMU in the online and offline. And we propose offline evaluations. This is a generally called as back test. For example, uh, 
if new model training and evaluate in test data set. So we fetch so current model projection result from production from top K result prediction result and extract item ID same as production top K. And we evaluate new model against current model using the same item IDs. So it's working as a backtest. And this evaluation matrix is precision at K. K is the bounds on the daily total number of alert in each evaluated topic decided by moderators. And if new model went to the current model, we shift to online evaluation. So we have the one issues about classic A-B testing in the real world content moderation. Classic A-B testing can take several months in the real world content moderation since it was difficult to collect enough transactions for t-test. So we propose another online evaluations instead of the classic A-B testing. So if new model went to the offline evaluation, we released and deploy to the new models in the productions. And the current model and new model, both are running in productions and the fetch, so same traffic. So don't separate this traffic. And each model um, are added to the moderator, so K2s. And this total number of alert in one violated topic is bounded by K. And we, and we evaluate based on the metrics uh, precision at K2s. And uh, after a certain time, so after a new model is released, we decide which model should be deprecated based on the above metrics. And uh, after introducing uh, offline evaluations, so almost new model is win if new model wins the back test to the current model. And also we, after we introducing uh, propose the online evaluations. So online evaluation duration time is shorter than classic A-B testing drastically. So it takes one around one business weeks, but depend on the some statical settings. But it's faster decision making with the efficient operations for machine learning systems. And this is the one result, the one by the topic pro, uh, using proposed offline and online evaluation. Baseline model is logic regression that was already raised in, bio, in production. And I showed GBDT and GME result. And GMU is wins the GBDT and uh, relatively increasing precision at K plus 21.2%. And we decide to release the GMU in production. And uh, through the online proposed online evaluations, GMU gains 23.2% uh, relatively. This matrix is precision at K2s. And the uh, logic regression is deprecated, and GMU wins uh, in the productions. And we, I also talking about uh, system side. We use container-based training pipeline and uh, we developing and using internal Kubernetes-based machine learning platform. We write manifest file containing requirements like CPU, GPU, and storage. This container-based uh, training pipeline is designed by each machine learning workload such as data load or training or offline evaluations. And this merit is can be optimized each workflow computation spec. For example, if we use PyTorch, 
it needs the GPU for faster training. We can choose GPU spec. And other case, if we choose Exibus model, so we choose CPU for Docker. It is optimized workflow for machine learning systems. And after finished training, we automatically evaluate offline using the proposed offline evaluations. And if offline evaluations uh, win the, by the new model, we shift to the online evaluation. And I'll explain about also serving system architecture. So data interface is asynchronous. So some message queue and we use Google Pops up. So proxy port, subscribe these ports and broadcast to the all prediction layer machine learning models. And the prediction layer working in the country over 50 machine learning models in productions. And the return to the prediction result, each violated topic, for example, counterfeit or weapon. And the proxy part aggregate those prediction result and publish one message. And the other client tool fetches this message queue and uh, uses for content moderations. And the country ML model average deploying real time is around four or five business days after we use the uh, offline evaluations. It means from training the model and deploy the productions from scratch. And we watch every model online score and performance through the dashboard. And uh, when the machine learning model performance degraded, then we try continuously training. As, how, as far as I know, currently we don't need everyday continuous retraining. So, and also we using the ML models service, uh, deploying the using Spinnaker. And also we use horizontal pot auto scaler by Kubernetes. So it provides for the reliable systems. Since standard web service, so the traffic change with time and HPA can adapt to borrowing traffic. After applying HPA, so sometimes, so over service down, so traffic suddenly increasing. Also HPA provides other benefit, kind of a side effect. So it provides cheaper billing cost in production. So reduced to the billing cost, one six by HPA. It's clear it transitions day by day, how decreasing billing costs day by day. And finally we reduced one six billing cost. And the impact of machine learning systems in the finery so all machine learning system in content moderations has increasing, increased coverage by 554% over rule-based approach. It means if rule-based discovered 100 items violating over terms, the machine learning system find 554 items violating over terms. That cannot be found by rule-based approach. So thank you for watching this video. And thank you for all authors and the contributors.